So here I am in the nursery rows at uh, Queen of Farm. This is a row of apple trees that we grafted um, this spring. Chris and I get to grafting rather late in the season because we're spending the early part and mid part of the season helping everybody else get to grafting, that's basically why. But you can see what we've learned is that if you put basically these apple trees on, well basically we've got them on six to six inch spacing here, six to eight inch spacing, but you can go as close as four inch spacing, it works very well. You can see how happy they are and they'll be happy all the way to four, five, six, seven feet if you want to keep them in at this spacing. And typically what I, you can see I've just moved the dirt out from around here and what I'll also do is pull off the, um, the growth on the rootstock to leave just the growth on the scion. Um, that's basically where we're wanting to encourage the growth to happen. So a little sweet little thinning process. This is where I'm headed, of course. You can see we've got some weeds ahead. I love this character here. This is amaranth. I tend to think of amaranth as the beginning of summer, frankly, more than all these seasonal markers and celebrations and everything else. It's such a humble plant. So nutritious. It's a sort of a classic example of what weeding can tell you. Amaranth is probably one of the most underrepresented and unexplored crops in our bioregion. And um, the weeds are basically telling us that we should really be giving it a go. It loves it here. Anyways, maybe I'll be picking some of this for the pot. It's delicious and it feels so good inside. Ah, can you see it? already going to seed. It's happy here. It wants to make this place a home. <laughs>